This is the DigitalPicture.com's Weekend Recap for the week ending March 30th, 2013. In the news, on Monday, Profoto announced the release of a new product, the Acute B two-head split cable. As the product name implies, the cable allows you to connect two flash heads to a single battery pack. The product manager of Profoto noted, This is admittedly an uncomplicated product, but sometimes the simplest solutions are the best. On Tuesday, we reported on a 16 gigapixel panoramic image of Machu Picchu, an Incan built site nestled in the mountains of Peru. Using a Canon 7D, EF 100 to 400 millimeter lens, and a Gigapan camera mount, photographer Jeff Creamer captured 1920 images to create the world's highest resolution image of the historic landmark. If you're a fan of the Where's Waldo games, then see if you can find the photographer within the 16 gigapixel image. On Wednesday, Sigma announced a delay in the release of its 120 to 300 mm f2.8 DG OS HSM lens, as well as its USB dock. Apparently, a delay in procuring manufacturing parts led to the release dates being pushed back. On Thursday, we linked to a Gizmodo article explaining Panasonic's new filter technology that could revolutionize low-light photography. Instead of using red, green, and blue filters over every pixel, the new technology uses vertically aligned color splitters. Color splitters have proven to be significantly more efficient in allowing light to hit the sensor, and more light hitting the sensor ultimately leads to better image quality in low-light conditions. In Sight News and Reviews On Monday, Brian added a new gallery to the site containing images from his recent Hawaii trip. The gallery contains 30 images with subjects ranging from bamboo to green sand beaches and just about everything else in between. Be sure to check out the captions on each image where Brian left helpful tips for those planning a photographic paradise getaway. On Tuesday, Brian posed a question to site visitors. Should we complete a full T5i review? To voice your opinion, check out the site's Facebook page and leave a comment. On Wednesday, Brian recounted the story of his lost Canon T4i and how it had a happy ending. The bottom line is, be sure to include contact information in your camera bag. If you're lucky, an honest stranger will contact you if they find your misplaced gear. On Thursday, Brian announced that most lenses have now been tested with the Canon 60D and are available on the site's ISO resolution chart comparison tool. Brian also noted that there are now 25,344 crops from 8,444 test images available for review on the site. And for our deal of the week. On Wednesday, we reported that you could get a Sigma 18-250mm f3.5-6.3 DC macro OS HSM lens for $319 with free shipping. That's more than a 20% savings off the normal retail price. This has been the DigitalPicture.com's Weekend Recap. Thanks for listening, and as always, happy shooting.